Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, Dr. Murti Ayu Wijayanti, MPD, as a lecturer of this uh, subject seminar on English language teaching. Um, inter- I would like to introduce myself. My name is Maulana Hakim, and I would like to present my research about improving student pronunciation skills using situational language teaching at SMP Muhammadiyah Bojong Nangka. And this research was made to submit it as a partial fulfillment of the requirement for final examination of seminar on English language teaching subject. Uh, English Department Teacher Training and Education Faculty of Sultan Ageng Tirtayasa University 2001. And we move to the first chapter of this material. Uh, it's talk about uh, introduction, the research background, and the research question. And uh, for the background of studi- study, is English is known as foreign language to be taught at elementary school and junior and senior high school uh, and uh, as an extra at the universities. Uh, this is uh, be good uh, with the decree of the Ministry of Education and Culture, Republic Indonesia number 0487, uh, 1992, uh, chapter 4, that states that English can be uh, state in the curriculum of the class and this is uh, needed by local community to improve their uh, skill in English language teaching and uh, English itself is a medium of communication for people around the world so they are uh, so very important to us for learning English uh, language and uh, because of many schools and many uh, play groups and kindergarten is already uh, included their English to the their material and curriculum. This is has caused many English educators charged with teaching teachers our curriculum and the material. Uh, development to raise question about how to teach English a foreign language to children because the study of English uh, to continues to apply an important place uh, in uh, our educational curriculum because of the importance of English. There are a lot of playgroups and kindergarten teach English as a local content of curriculum. In this level, the students uh, learn English for the first time uh, and uh, the talk we talk about the pronunciation uh, pronunciation is needed to be taught for the beginner foreign language learner because the students needed to know and to understand how sounds are pronounced to deliver communication efficiency in interaction in fact Students often find some difficulties in pronouncing English words as happening is SMP Muhammadiyah Bojong Nangka. The student is SMP Muhammadiyah Bojong Nangka have a lot of weakness in pronunciation. The big problem is related to the habit of incorrect pronunciation. For example, both word box and book uh, which are occasionally pronounced with book and books. That actually different meaning. Mostly students cannot differentiate between spelling and pronunciation. And pronunciation. The student errors will give a bad habit in pronunciation because as the beginners they realize their errors do not disturb their confidence in communication, but it will become a problem if they have to speak in international communication because there will be misunderstood. Based on the observation, the problem is caused by the teacher themselves who never teach pronunciation in- intensively in English class. Besides, the school itself does not, doesn't have enough facilities such as uh, English laboratory, LCD, and 
uh, English readers to support the teaching learning process. The school just facilitates the English class with the teacher of the class itself who actually has not mastered English in pronunciation well. The teachers themselves do not check their pronunciation correctness. The students need more guide, repetition, and willing to improve their confidence pronunciation. The attractive strategy can be created two several ways. First, the teacher creates the comfortable environments to do teaching learning process. And the researcher more pressure the students to guide repetition and reading to all in order to make them more familiar with the correct pronunciation, which finally can improve them to pronounce it the correct form. Hank, the students can master to differentiate between spelling and pronunciation. Besides, uh, it uses such kind of media which aim to interact the students such a concrete object, picture, and regalia which supported by an interactive methods of teaching in order to avoid the young learner boredom. In the teaching learning process, the teacher have my function as an audiovisual audio medium of learning. Her voice is an audio aid to demonstrate the way to pronounce the words correctly which will be heard by students. Meanwhile, the C is also a special medium because the learner will show the process with their visual set in the real condition. According to the phenomena uh, of how important pronunciation in foreign language is, the researcher here tries to teach uh, pronunciation by using an attractive way which is suitable for the young learners, that is by using situational language teaching, SLT. Harmer, 1991. 1991 states that methodology of language teaching must be comfortable and relaxing for the students. Children need something that can stimulate their motivation in teaching learning process and in the class. Besides, they also need to be involved in something active in school because they like to do such activity which are interesting and fun for them. Fawziati 2005 states that the typical learning activities in situational language teaching generally consist of guided repetition and substitution activities which include chorus repetition, dictation, drills and control or all base reading, writing text beside it use various teaching aids such as a concrete object, pictures or regalia which this in this situations combine with action and gesture to demonstrate the meaning of the new language item. Situational language teaching is suitable teaching method to increase the student pronunciation for the children because it deals with the characteristic of the young learners. Besides, it includes some attractive ways which can attack the student feeling boredom and improve the student motivation to learn. B. Research question. In this research, the researcher verifies the research question uh, as below, the first, can situational language teaching increase the student pronunciation? And the second, can teaching pronunciation using situational language teaching uh, improve the student understanding about the difference between spelling and pronunciation? Next, about research objective. The general objective of the study to improve the student pronunciation ability while the specific objective of the study in this research are first describing the implementation teaching by using situational language teaching in order to improve the young learner's pronunciation ability the second to know whether or not teaching pronunciation using situational language teaching can improve the student understanding about the difference between spelling and grammar spelling and pronunciation uh, and then Research significance. The first uh, theoretical benefits. In this research, the writer hoped that this research will give beneficial reference for further research on increasing in pronunciation ability by using situational language teaching. And practical benefit. The first for the teacher. In this research, uh, the researcher hoped that this result uh, will give benefit for the teacher in teaching learning process in order to improve 
their quality of teaching English, especially in pronunciation. For the student, the writers hope that the student can improve their own pronunciation ability and be motivated in learning English and study English pronunciation become interesting and challenging. For SMP Muhammadiyah Bojong Nangka, the result of this research will be beneficial uh, as a place of doing the research in order to give a reference for the teachers to improve their techniques in teaching learning process, especially be more focused on pronunciation in teaching, ling in teaching English as a foreign language. And last, for the reader, by doing this research, the writer hopes that the readers will know the benefit of teaching pronunciation by using situation uh, teaching learning. Uh, for the beginner learner, as a result of teaching English as a foreign language, besides, uh, the result of this research will be one of reference to improve their techniques of teaching pronunciation for the young learners. We are going to the chapter 2 about literature review. Uh, the first we are going to talk about previous related research findings. And uh, Ari T. Octavi in 2008, student of English Education Department, Faculty of Teacher Training and Education, Muhammad University of Surakarta, in his graduating paper entitled Improving Student Pronunciation Skill Using Situational Language Teaching at Bayangkahi Purwodadi. And Husniati in 2010, student of English Department, Educational Tahbiya and Teaching University, Faculty State Islamic, Alauddin Makassar University in his graduating paper, Improving the Second Year Student Vocabulary through Situational Language Teaching Method at MTSN Ujung Jampea Kepulauan Selaya. And uh, the first thing that I would like to uh, Talk about pronunciation. According to Hornby, 2005, pronunciation is defined as the way how a language is spoken. It means that by pronouncing some words, people are utilizing a language that they can communicate with others as pronunciation is the way of the language is spoken. Pronunciation uh, is the production of significant sound used by a particular language as part of the code of the language uh, used to achieve meaning in context. Uh, this means uh, that pronunciation is the speech production that creates meanings. Pronunciation is probably one of the hardest speaking skills in English to learn because learning pronunciation takes much time and effort to improve understanding how to pronounce correctly. Uh, pronunciation, according to the Encyclopedia of Britannia, is the appearance and arrangement of the basic symbol of the language, the segmental phoneme or speech, speech sound, in the patterns of pitch, loudness, and duration. Meanwhile, pronunciation is defined as the act or consequence of creating the language, the segmental uh, sound of speech, including articulation, stress, intonation, frequently with reference to some standard of accuracy or acceptability. Uh, when speaking English, the speaker and listener have a reciprocal communication connection they influence each other in the sense that in order for the listeners to understand what is being said the speaker must talk with proper pronunciation which implies the english sound must be spoken correctly otherwise the erroneous pronunciation will generate misunderstanding among the listeners this is because speech sounds are discrete entities in language and various sounds can have different meaning. Yule 2020, 2010, the study of language known, the study of the study of language sound is known as a phonology. And second, situational language teaching. The theory of learning by using situational language teaching. Situational language teaching is the word that isn't often used now, but it refers to a method established by British applied linguistic 
from the 19th century to the 19th uh, 60th century that influenced language course that are still in use today. The learning theory that uh, underpins situational language teaching is behav behav behaviorism, which focus on processing rather than learning situation. It is based on the following tenets. The first learning is lang learning a language is the establishment of habits. The second, make Making mistakes is terrible and should be avoided since it leads to poor habits. The third, it is more beneficial to learn language skill if they are taught verbally first than in writing. The four, analogy is a better starting point for learning a language than analysis. And the five, the words meaning can only be learned in the context of a linguistic and cultural environment. The principle of situational language teaching. The idea of situational language teaching as they have evolved over uh, 20 years period were also represented in Alexander and other notable British notebook writers. The following were the approach's primary characteristic. The first, the teaching of language begin with spoken language before being provided in writing form. Material is taught verbally. The second, the target language language in the classroom language. The third, situational language point are taught and practice. The four procedures for selecting vocabulary are followed to guarantee that an essential general service uh, vocabulary uh, pronunciation is provided. Uh, pronunciation items are graded according to the premise that simple form should be taught first and six reading and writing presented after an adequate lexical and grammatical foundation has been formed. The third principle became a prominent component of approach in the 19th 60th century and the word situational was increasingly employed to refer to the overall method at the time Rogers and Richard, 2001, page 35. The theory of learning is a form of Biafori's habit learning theory that they, they conduct situational language teaching in focus on the learning process rather than the learning environment. And we are going to chapter 3 about research methodology the first is research design uh, the research design is a set of pre-test and post-test design process or between pre-test and post-test the design was described as a follow pre-test the in this part the writer will be given before treatment, the writer talk about for, uh, pronunciation and the writer asked student to answer a few questions about the topic to find the pronunciation of the student. Uh, and uh, in the part of treatment, using situational language uh, as a treatment for teaching and learning English in the classroom, the writer taught the lesson five times are, me are met after, a pre after the pre-test which was broken down into several activities. The first activities uh, will be held uh, six minutes in the class, and in this meeting, uh, the teacher will give students some suggestion and encouragement on the advantage of learning English, especially pronunciation. And the second meeting will be held 60 minutes. Uh, the students are teaching a course with uh, the theme of using contextual language teaching method through English nouns. The third meeting will be held 60 minutes. Uh, the students are teaching a course on the teaching method of situational language through English verbs. The fourth teaching will be held 60 minutes. Uh, students are teaching a course of using situational language teaching method through English adjective. At the fifth meeting will be held 60 minutes too. Uh, the teacher will explain about the use of situational language teaching method through English noun, verb, and adjective. The sixth and the last meeting uh, will be held 60 minutes. 
at the meeting, the teacher gave some question and worksheet to see if the student had achieved pronunciation after treatment. The post-test uh, in this part, the final test will be provided to students after the treatment has been applied. The test is aimed at the finding out the vocabulary, the pronunciation achievement of students through the English noun, verb, and adjective, as well as their interest in English pronunciation, especially in improving student pronunciation through the use of a situational language teaching method using a English noun, verb, and adjective. Uh, move to the population and sample. Population of this research. Uh, was the 8th grade of SMP Muhammadiyah Bonyong Nangka in the 2021 and 2022 academic years. It has a population of 42 and counties of the two class. Uh, and the sample was taken from the population. I used the sampling technique. I want to get the second class as a sample. The total sample was 21 students and move to the variables there are two variables the first independent and dependent variables the independent variable is the student performance in pronunciation especially the performance of english noun verbs and adjective before the use of contextual language teaching and the dependent variable is the student performance in pronunciation through situational language teaching, especially the English performance of nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Move to the data collection. Uh, the procedure of collecting data of this research. The first, conduct a vocabulary pretest and collect data on student ability to understand vocabulary materials. First, explain the vocabulary materials of the student. The teacher asks some student uh, to answer some question. To some student, repeat the material again. Then, in this case, the student was taught by applying the situational language teaching method. Treatment took place in six conferences where topics were presented in the classroom uh, through English noun, verb, and adjective. And after treatment, students will be taught how you to use situational language teaching method in the course of education and learning using English noun, English verb, and English adjective. And then to the post-test to know uh, pronunciation achievement. I receive it first, the, vocab the pronunciation material designed as an oral Pronunciation test is given to the student and then the teacher interface with the pronunciation material presented in the classroom. Finally, the score of all students in both pre-test and post-test for pronunciation are analyzed by tabulating the pre-test and post-test data. The last is technique of data analysis. In analyzing the data collected through the pre-test and post-test, we we'll use the procedures as follows. Well the first Student test answering score. The, the formula is score. Uh, the score is student correct answer divided number of item. item. And the uh, second, the test score were divided into seven levels as follow 9.6 to 10 is great, 8.6 to 9.5 very good, 7.6 to 8.5 is good after putting the vocabulary and them into the sentence the researcher that then conduct a post test on the student in the post test uh, we have to classify into 10 on based on the standard the first is 9 to 6 9.6 to 10 is excellent uh, 8.6 to 9.5 is a very good and 7.6 to 8.5 was classified as good. 6.6 uh, .6 to 7.5 uh, classified is good. Uh, score 6.6 .6 to 7.5 uh, classified fairly good. 5.6 to uh, 6.5 was classified fair. Score 3.6 to 5.5 was classified as poor and 0 to 3.5 was classified as very poor. That's the technique of data analysis in my research. I think that's all 
for my presentation today. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, and I hope that my research will be useful for all of you and especially for myself in the future. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.